A few weeks ago, my wife and I took a vacation to Florida. We decided to drive due to the price of airplane tickets around the holiday season. On our way south, we passed through Tennessee and a large portion of Georgia. Unfortunately, there was a large accident that occurred on the turnpike, so we decided to take a short detour and then get back to the turnpike after we passed all the traffic. My wife and I grew fond of the roads we drove on. There was so much to see, and the landscape was so much different than what we were used to seeing in Kentucky. So we decided to drive on them a while longer, till we found somewhere in which we could stay the night. It was already 10pm, and driving at night on unfamiliar roads did not appeal to me. As we continued down a long road, we found a small motel and decided we'd stay the night. We got in our room, unpacked, and watched TV until we fell asleep. Around 3am we awoke to a distant eerie alarm, or siren. After a half hour of listening to it, I decided to go find out what it was. In front of the motel, a few men stood smoking cigarettes, so I decided to ask them. One of the men explained that there was a prison a few miles from where we were staying, and that there must have been an attempted breakout. Also he explained the prison as maximum security, and that the escapee was most likely shot or caught. With the assurance that we were not in danger, I explained to my wife the situation and we both got back to sleep. We started early, around 7am, we wanted to get out of our hotel and have a nice dinner and hang out for a while. We drove south of the side streets for a while until we noticed a sign that said, Turnpike, Entrance 5 Miles. We were both relieved to finally know where we are. I turned on some soft rock and my wife put her earbuds in and began listening to a different radio station. As we continued, I could see a strange man standing at the side of the road, just a few hundred feet away. It seemed as if he were a hitchhiker. But being a good Samaritan that I am, I offered him a ride. Hey, uh, do you need a ride? That would be great, he replied, and we began heading south. Where do you need me to take you? I asked him respectfully. Anywhere but here, he muttered in a low voice. I agreed to take him where he needed, and we were off. Do you need me to call anyone for you? It won't be any trouble, I asked him. That won't be necessary, he replied. The man was very muscular, but not much taller than me. He wore an old white t-shirt and a pair of ripped up jeans that were covered in mud. His hair was very messy, and he had a patched beard. But what was the most strange thing about him? The fact that he wore no shoes. I noticed that I needed to get gas before I got in the turnpike, so I offered to drop off the man at the nearest gas station, but he denied my request and pleaded for him to take him to Florida. I agreed and began filling my tank with gas. The man began to walk into the restroom located at the side of the gas station. My wife was extraordinarily quiet, so I started to talk to her. But instead, she began typing on her phone. I watched as she typed a text, saying a few sentences long. When she finished, she slowly turned up the phone so I could see it. The text read, We need to leave. I heard the radio about a man who escaped, and he fits the man's personality perfectly. I put $30 on the fuel pump, not even taking the time to go inside and pay. I got situated and turned the car on. I began to put the car in drive and dial 911. A strange wave of heat covered my left ear and I heard a whisper. That won't be necessary.